Hey everybody, Jason Levine with the Dice Tower and I'm here with Bruno Catala and we're going to talk about a bunch of new games that is coming out. We're at the Blue Orange booth here and um, you have two things that are that are out here. Yes. Um, first one, let's let's talk about this. Um, now, I don't know how to say the name here. Scarabia. Perfect. That's it. Scarabia. Scarabia. Yeah. There we go. Right. Um, tell us a little bit about this one. So uh, it's a game uh, I designed with uh, Ludovic Moblan, and uh, p players are looking t to search some uh, archaeology. Ar sorry, archaeo archaeological. Archaeological. It's hard to to spell for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, things like uh, very big uh, gold scarabs. So you have three way to play that game. First one is a duplicate one. Each player has his own board. You place it exactly the same way, and then you have the, you will place the tiles, the pentominoes on the, on them always on the same order. Each player makes that on his own field, and each time you t you manage to close a surface, which is one, two, three, or four spaces, including scarabs inside, you will get points. And the number of points you get is the number of scarabs multiplied by the number of spaces. So. It's fast, it's easy, it's uh, playing with pentominoes, which is someone I really like. And uh, everybody with the same order of tiles tries to make the best score. But you also have another way to play, a very competitive way for two players. You play only on one board, and you will play one tile and then one tile, etc., etc. And it's the one who closes a surface who takes the points, and the other has nothing. Yeah. So, with the, exactly the same basic rules, you don't play the same way. The game experience is really different, because you don't want to give too much opportunities to the next player, and sometimes you try to hide the scarabs. And there is a third way to play, which is a solo mode, a solo version. In that field, you play on one board, and you try to hide all the scarabs, which is not that easy. So it's fast, it's simple, it's addictive. What else? <laughs> yeah, and it looks like, I mean, I'm looking at all different patterns of tiles. It's going to be very interesting to play the different patterns on the board yeah. as well. Yeah. Which I like tile laying games, so I'm looking forward to this one a lot. <laughs> I hope you will like it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling I will like it. Yeah. Um, you also have a new expansion for King Domino. Yes, which is Age of Giants. Uh, so, yes. you know, I first made King Domino, which is uh, really dedicated to families. And then I made Queen Domino, which is more dedicated to gamers. Uh, but I was completely conscious that uh, Queen Domino is too much for people who are only playing with their child, for example. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why I designed that expansion, which has something really special to King Domino, which, but it's absolutely not complex. First, it has the possibility to, to play up to five players. That means that you have 12 new tiles. Six of them, of them are really bad tiles. That means that when you pick one, you are obliged to place one uh, giant on your kingdom. And this giant eliminates <coughs> one of your crown. That means less points. Mm -hmm. And you have 12, uh, six really good tiles, which gives you a possibility to sign one of your giants to someone else which is fun for families. Yeah. And you know that there is a variant into the queen, King Domino, which says that if your castle is in the middle, you get you extra get points. points. Yes. This becomes an uh, objective tile. And I introduced 10 or 12 more uh, objective tiles. Oh, and at yeah. the beginning of each game, you pick two at random. That means that it increases the replay value of the game. And that's it. That's all. But it's really fun. Yeah, so like in this one, if you have yellows in the corner, yeah. you're going to get points. Th that's it. Oh, it's very interesting. And what's the tower for now? It's just to um, to place the domino inside and it's, you distribute them without being able to see the next one which is coming. Ah, so now you don't see the next set. Yeah. You're now getting them yeah. distributed differently. Very interesting, very interesting. Will it mix in with King Domino? Queen you you domino can play it with King Domino. You can play it with Queen Domino. But if you play king plus queen, you can just use the objective tiles, and that's it. Oh, nice, nice. King Domino Age of Giants, if you're looking for it, if you love King Domino, this is going to be a great expansion. It's out here, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. 
and you have other games. In addition to doing Blue Orange, as usual, you do a million games. No, orange. I'm not doing. I just won one copy of Nagaraja. Uh, it's a pre-production sample which player can play test on Asmodee's booth. <laughs> and that's all. No, what about all the stuff at, at Matago? <laughs> uh, the ants. Ah, the ants, yes. The ants came yes, as well. but, but, but Yes, it's true. But in Europe, it's released since the beginning of the year. That's the reason why I, I, I didn't think that it was a release in Gen Con. Yes, you have uh, Micropolis. Which uh, that you can uh, find on Asmodee booth. It's a Matagot uh, game I made with Charles Chevalier, and uh, uh, each player has to build a hunt hill. It's very fast, simple, nice components. Yes, I like it. And there was another game I saw over there as well. Um, Imagine Imaginarium. There is one copy that people that can play test, but it will be released in US only at the end of the year. And what kind of game is that? It looks very interesting. Uh, it's a game dedicated to gamers. Uh, it's much more complex. And uh, people are um, engineers trying to repair some machine in a dream factory. That means uh, it's very a strange atmosphere, st steampunk, etc. And you, you have to, it's resource management, but at the same time, it's a race for victory points. So you have to manage that and and, and make the, the best associations with machines to repair them and sometimes to unbuild them to get the resources to build other machines, etc. So, um, yes, something really special. I saw the board and it looked great. I loved, there were those little components where you had all the cubes in yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. It looked, it looked really yeah. nice, the production. Uh, yeah. And that's all. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's all for now. There's, but there's probably other things you have in the works, right? Uh, yes, <laughs> always. <laughs> always working. For for next year, I will have Dragomino, which is a version, a domino version for a very sm young player, up to four. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. So there'll be a child version coming out. This is great. This is so great. Mm. Um, and anything else that you're working on? Are you working on any expansions more for any other games? No, no, uh, yes, I'm working uh, with um, Antoine uh, Bozart mm -hmm. for a second expansion for Seven Wonders Duel. Nice. Yes. That's going to be great. I love Seven Wonders Duel. Mm. So, new expansion for Seven Wonders Duel. You heard it here first. Yes. You're working on it now. Yes. <laughs> but it's, ne it's, it's, not, uh, it's not finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sometime next year, you might hear about it again yeah. <laughs> once it's actually finished. Um, well, as always, thank you for coming on and telling us about all these games you're doing. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> amazing designer, Bruno Catala, and it's a pleasure having you. It's always a pleasure for me, yes. Thank you. Thank and you. Once again, this is Jason Levine with the Dice Tower giving you another Gen Con preview.